What's going on folks? Clayton Youngberg here with AndroidAuthority.com, your number one source for all things Android. Today we're going to be checking out the Paranoid Android Custom ROM. Now I flashed this custom ROM to my Samsung Galaxy S3 Verizon variant, but it is available for a plethora of different smartphones and tablets as well. Uh, you do need to be rooted to flash this, and if you don't know how to root or flash ROMs to your device, go ahead and hit our website. We have comprehensive guides, including videos for many, many different phones. But go ahead and strap in, guys, because I'm going to show you the awesome features included with this Android 4.2 ROM. So if any one of you fine folks were to open up the lock screen on this device, this is exactly what it would look like. And this is the lock screen from Android 4.2. As you may notice, it is not uh, TouchWiz flavored at all because this is not a TouchWiz ROM. Uh, this is stock Android. Well, for the most part. We'll get into that. Anyways, this is the lock screen. Of course, you have custom slider options uh, that I will show you how to set up later. Uh, but for now, we're just going to go ahead and unlock it. As you saw, we had a nice clock there and a few other cool things that are uh, there to greet us when we have our phone out of our pocket. Anyways, this is the home screen, obviously. And uh, as I said, this is not TouchWiz influenced at all, so it looks a little funny on the Galaxy S3. Uh, we are running Android 4.2, as you can see. We have our custom user profile and all of the cool quick toggles involved and uh, included in Android 4.2. We'll scroll through, our, scroll through our home screens very quickly. Uh, as you can see, the icons are even different. Uh, they are the icons of Android 4.2. But we'll go into our settings for now, because that's where the magic happens with Paranoid Android. And as you can see, uh, we have our wireless and network settings, and this is set up just like a tablet, and we can reconfigure that if we want, but for now we'll just keep it like this and I'll go through. We also have our data usage, we have more options, sound display, storage, battery apps, and user profiles. Uh, the user profiles don't uh, necessarily work if you are not on a tablet. Anyways, we have our accounts manager right here, new to some. And we have our customization options here. This is where the magic happens. We have our theme chooser, where we can install aftermarket themes from the Play Store or from uh, XDA developers, Roots Wiki, things of that nature. Go ahead and go back. We have advanced options here as well. We've got our lock screen configuration and toolbars, as well as hybrid properties. And we'll just go through these one by one. The advanced settings are Galaxy S3 specific, as you can see. We have our sensors, our sound, and our screen settings that we can control. Uh, under our lock screen, we can allow lock screen rotation, uh, see-through lock screen, and as well as home screen widgets, uh, widgets. Excuse me. We can also change our shortcuts on the slider, and we can have music controls as well. Toolbars is really cool. You can uh, customize whether or not it shows the clock in AM, PM style. We can also include the notification count and set the custom tiles for the uh, quick toggles. We also have Do Not Disturb mode, and then we have our Pi Control. Now we have a video dedicated to Pi Control, but I'll go over it quickly. As you can see, if we bring our thumb up from the bottom of the screen, we have our on-screen soft keys that can replace your hard keys if you so prefer. Uh, we have the style of the Pi Control. Uh, we also have the Pi Gravity and Pi Size, so we can make that bigger. We're going to go ahead and make that gigantic. As you can see, it's very big now uh, for those of all finger sizes. And we have our item gap, as well as persistent menu and search buttons. Then we can also choose uh, what actually happens with our uh, hardware keys. We can set custom actions. Now the real uh, magic of Paranoid Android right here is our Paranoid Android settings, where we can change the user interface. Uh, we can change our colors, which is really cool. But uh, one of the coolest things about this ROM is its phablet UI and tablet UIs. Now the stock UI is what I'm in. But we can go ahead and put it into phablet or tablet UI. As you can see, it changes the DPI of your apps and basically just about everything on the phone. So let's go ahead and select tablet UI and select apply. And as you can see now, we actually have a small uh, notification bar on the bottom, our navigation bar, excuse me. We have our recent apps that we can open up through there. We can also hit our home key and our back button and open Google now by holding the home key. And then we have our status bar right down here, and as you can see, it is the tablet configuration. Pretty dang cool. And we'll go back into the settings for another moment and change the UI once again so you guys can see. We'll go into the uh, tablet mode with 1000p DPI. And as you can see, it's changing it up a bit. We can also customize it to our liking. Uh, we can do that by going back and simply sliding to the left. 
we can choose our launcher options here, and th these are the launcher options, excuse me. Then we have our interface options as well. We can choose our uh, navigation bar size, its transparency, and we can actually uh, set our, the app DPI right here as well. So uh, our interface options are as follows. We can change our layout right here, just as we did in the uh, regular UI options. Then we can change our DPI there, as well as the size of the nav bar. And we have our global color options as well. Go back. We also have our apps preferences. Now uh, we can actually change the DPI of all of these apps. So if we do though, uh, if we actually do that on say the YouTube app, we'll have the tablet interface of the YouTube app. Pretty cool stuff. We also have our properties here, uh, where we have just the list of all our app DPIs and our app colors. And we have the help and about. So anyways guys, this is the Paranoid Android ROM. As you can see, I am running the full tablet mode, and we still have all the features of Android 4.2. Go ahead and scroll down. We have our performance options as well. We have Android 4.2.1. That's really cool. And under performance options, we can choose the speed of our processor, and we can also install custom kernels to do that as well. But basically, guys, uh, it's a really, really awesome ROM with all sorts of great features. We've got our Pi Control. We have our changeable DPI. We've got our different UIs, including phablet, tablet, and phone mode. We've got all sorts of great stuff. And it is based on CM10 with a little bit of AOKP in there as well. And it's Android 4.2, so you guys are going to love it, especially if you're running the Galaxy S3. So I'll provide the link in the description. You guys can go ahead and check out the ROM today and make sure to tell us what you think about it. As always, thanks again for watching, folks. This is Clayton Youngberg with AndroidAuthority.com.